Greetings everyone. I am Dr. Upasana Singh, a senior lecturer in the discipline of Information Systems and Technology in the School of Management, IT and Governance at the Westville campus of UKZN. Still an emerging researcher, I enjoy collaboration, so my research publications have included interdisciplinary studies. But my passion is the implementation of technology in education. The buzzword today is digital teaching and learning. Hence, my research project currently focuses on an aspect that seems to be overlooked in our rush to move swiftly to online learning during this COVID-19 pandemic. The study is titled, Integrating Quality Assurance into e-learning post the COVID-19 pandemic. The COVID-19 pandemic has resulted in many educational institutions worldwide shutting down for extended periods. For example, China initially announced the closure of schools until the 17th of February 2020. This announcement was later revised to at least 20th April. Africa was no different. Many African countries announced a national shutdown for a minimum period of 21 days in March 2020. In most cases, this was subsequently extended to 35 days, which meant that face-to-face -face learning institutions either halted education abruptly or switched to online learning almost overnight. So, we can see that the national shutdowns have led to educational disruptions that are unprecedented Amongst the many issues that have emerged is the panic amongst face-to-face -face institutions to switch to online teaching and learning methods to ensure academic continuity. The underlying question is, do lecturers and students have the resources and skills for the effective transition to online teaching and learning in this pandemic situation? This study adopts the Badro Khan framework on e-learning to better understand the situation at African higher education institutions. His framework consists of eight dimensions, namely institutional, pedagogical, technological, interface design, evaluation, management, resource support, and ethical. Thus, the Badru Khan framework is considered as a holistic structure to analyze African higher education institutions shift from face to face to online learning in a crisis situation like COVID-19. Each of these dimensions in the framework represents a category of issues that need to be addressed in order to create a meaningful learning experience in an online environment. A survey-based questionnaire with a combination of both qualitative and quantitative questions on Khan's e-learning framework will be distributed to selected contact-based higher education institutions in some African countries, namely South Africa, Namibia, Mauritius, Liberia, and Kenya. The main outcome from this study is the addition of a quality assurance pillar to the institutional infrastructure, processes, practices, and faculty development aspects of the Khan Octagonal e-learning framework to deliver a quality assurance framework for the adoption of e-learning in the African higher education context during pandemic situations like COVID-19. Thank you.